and click on the dimension tag. And there's an export icon on the right-hand side. Click on it. Click on the Create. And then every dimension has different members properly. So for this tutorial, I'll select the Account dimension and click on Export. Okay. And open that exported file. So this row one is your member's property. Copy this entire row one into a new spreadsheet. So this, is, this will be the member's property, the header. And now you can start filling in your member's name and the property under each header. So for the account, I'll do I'll name it as the tutorial and the parent. Parent will be account. And then I'll do a child member with tutorial one. And the parent will be the tutorial. And then not every column for the member's property need to fill out to fill out the necessary ones. I'll put an alias as an import. And then data storage as a dynamic calc for a tutorial. And then for tutorial one, I'll do as a store. And then scroll over, there's a source plan type. Mine will be called main. Main. And that will be it for my members property. After you're done, you go to file and do save as and click on browse. And save the type as CSV file. And then you're in File name, I'll do name it tutorial and save it on my desktop. Okay. Yeah. Now you have your CSV file, you can start doing input metadata. So close out those files. Exit out here, close, close. It's still loading, so give it a second to load. Closing out, so I'll, I'll click on refresh. So there is an input icon right next to the export. Click on the input and then go to create. So 
you go to browse on your uh, desired dimensions. Mine will be the account. And then find, find your CSV file that you just created. Mine's the tutorial. And then validate it. Click OK. And then click on input. Check the refresh database and click OK. So input metadata successfully. Click OK. And click on refresh. And still on the last column, uh, the last input column, there's a processing. So give it a few seconds to refresh the database. And then click the refresh again. And now it says complete it and click on that complete it link there. And then this will show you the status report. Um, this status report will show you any errors if refresh database were not successful. So in this case, there was no error showing below here. And there's two records being processed right here. So now the last step is to double check if your metadata is in PBCS. So to check your metadata, close out here, close out. Close out this window. It's not closing, so I'll just refresh the page. So you go to the navigator here, and then under uh, Create and Manage, click on the dimensions to check if your metadata is in your dimensions. Select your cube, mine will be main, and select your dimensions, mine will be account. And there is my tutorial member. Give it a second to load the child member. And there's, uh, there's my tutorial one child member. So you can see these members are all in your dimensions. So this ends my tutorial on how to implement metadata using a flat file. And I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.